Artificial intelligence is revolutionizing our entire world, and it's here to stay. But before we dive into the top five things everyone needs to know about AI, there are some things around the history of AI you need to understand first. First up, the concept of AI dates back to the 1950s. Although it sounds new or like a newer tech to many of us because it's so popular right now, this technology isn't new. It's just evolved very quickly. And this starts from when Alan Turing asked the question, can machines think? This simple question sparked a wave of research around exactly this. How can we get machines to actually think? And over the years, AI has often experienced periods of great enthusiasm. We've really seen it go in waves where people are super excited about it, and then it kind of fades off for a little bit. And these times actually have a name. They're referred to as AI winters, AI summers, AI winters, when the winter period is cold and no one really is talking about the hype cycle. However, despite these challenges, researchers have continued to push forward, making huge advancements with this technology, like expert systems in the 1980s, machine learning in the 1990s, and deep learning in the 2010s. These are the ways that we have seen and we are continuing to see the boundaries being pushed, I think more than ever. All right, time to go into the top five things you must know about AI, whether you're in it or not, because it's affecting all of our lives, our careers, our day-to-day, -day, everything. The first thing everyone needs to know about AI is it is a diverse field. And I hope you already know this, but, but it's really important to understand some of the subsets within AI and also within machine learning. I'm sure we've all seen this diagram before, and that is so key to really understanding because we often refer to things that maybe aren't necessarily directly machine learning or just encompass everything, wrap everything up in AI. But when we unwrap it, we realize there's a lot more going on. Now, as a side note, if you are interested in what I'm about to go through with you and you want more detail on each, let me know in the comments and I can make specific videos for each topic. The first one though, within topic number one of AI is diverse is machine learning. You can think of machine learning if you want, you know, a one sentence to sum it up as algorithms that learn from data to make predictions or decisions. Then we have deep learning. That is a subset of machine learning. Deep learning is newer than machine learning and it has really changed the game when it comes to AI. Deep learning uses neural networks. And as a side note, you can kind of think of neural networks as a brain. That's what they were apparently inspired by anyways. Where with deep learning, it will actually, you can feed it, for example, a bunch of images of a dog. And you know, it will learn, okay, this breed of dog has this shape of ears, it has this coloring, the length of the nose is this and it will keep on building in essentially layers what it is learning to the point where then you can feed deep learning models uh, different images of different breeds of dogs and it will just be able to identify it right away. Then we have NLP, natural language processing. And this is something we interact with a lot. I mean, think of all the different chatbots from ChatGPT, Claude, the list goes on. And NLP is techniques that enable computers to understand, interpret, and generate human-like language. Then number four is computer vision. This is something I'm super interested in. I actually have a whole YouTube video uh, building out a computer vision model where it's face detection because it's, I, I'm a visual learner and being able to learn about a technology as I'm building it is really helpful to me. I'll link it down below. But computer vision is pretty much at its core what it sounds like. Methods that allow computers to interpret and analyze visual info from the world. Coming in at number two is AI isn't magic. I know, it's a shocker, but I wanted to include this one because it really is sometimes thought of as magic, that it is going to take over all of our jobs, take over the world. And while there are implications to AI we need to be aware of, especially when it comes to ethics, AI is not at that level where it is you know, going to replace humanity. I just wanna make that very clear. It is far from that, it is far from being perfect. We have a long way to go, if ever. The reality is AI systems are only as good as the data they're trained on and the algorithms that they use, that we as humans build. It's very important to note that just like humans, AI can make mistakes and also be very biased at times. And this is because, once again, of the data that is included for it. And this is kind of interesting, a more technical point here. Something called overfitting is a common problem actually within machine learning. And this is where a model will learn the noise in the training data to the extent that it actually negatively impacts the performance on new data. So this is something, if you are on more of the technical side or wanting to dive deep into or deeper into different concepts within AI, overfitting is something to definitely look into. It's very interesting and can cause a lot of problems around data. 
Number three is AI requires high quality data. There is more data now than ever. I mean, well, I guess so it makes sense for continuing to get more data. But what I'm getting at is with the rise of the internet, we have seen this boom in the amount of data available to train these AI models. But here's the catch. The data still must be relevant, accurate, and specific to the problem it is solving. Now think of it this way, when we are learning something and taking in new information, if we are learning something that is really bad quality or just downright is wrong, we naturally as humans, our brains will think, okay, unless we're told otherwise, we think that's right. And that's how we carry on in our day to day. Same thing with AI models. If you are feeding it data that is incorrect, inaccurate, or just crappy all around, it doesn't know any better. And that is what it will think is the truth or is correct and will share with other people. Coming in at number four is AI is a collaborative effort. And we kind of touched on this in an earlier point. The reality is though, AI systems would not function, would not be complete without us humans helping it. Furthermore, developing successful AI systems requires teams across the board. It cannot just be the engineering team or the business team. All teams need to come together and work collaboratively in order to be successful. I mean, if you think of domain experts such as software engineers, data scientists, uh, ethicists, they all need to collaborate and coexist. So there are so many different roles within AI to be aware of, even if you are on the technical or non-technical side, there is something for you. All right, number five is AI is an ongoing journey. And I thought this was really important to include in this video because even throughout this video, I'm sure there were points where you thought, wow, uh, there seems like there's a lot to unpack in that one point, or there's so much to learn within this space. And it's true. And I wanted to include this fifth one because the reality is we will always be forever learners, especially when it comes to AI and in today's day and age where tech is moving so quickly. It's just the reality of it now. The important thing is to really understand a lot of these key concepts that we went through today, dive into ones that you're really interested in. You don't need to dive into everything uh, and focus in on what excites you because that is how you will learn naturally what you will get more excited about and grow within versus forcing yourself to try and just stuff down a bunch of knowledge that you aren't interested in. Keeping up to date with AI is one of the easiest things to do right now anyways. And what I mean by that is because there are so many different newsletters about it, so many different communities, you can come to my channel and learn more about it, that the internet now, one of the big things or one of the best things about it is the amount of information at your fingertips. Choose your sources wisely though and stay informed. All right, we have covered a lot in this video, the five key things you must know about AI. And this is from the perspective if you are technical or non, but if there is an area that we covered and you want to go deeper within, leave down in the comments. Let me know if you like these videos where we get to cover different points within a technology. So if someone asks you a question about it or a topic within this space, for example, you easily know what you're talking about. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech, AI, coding, future tech, all the good stuff related videos and leave in the comments what you wanna see. All right, thanks everyone.